party. <laughs> We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Time Not Travellers. On March the 1st, 2020, we left our home and jobs behind us as we boarded a one-way flight. A few short weeks later, the global pandemic brought the whole world to a stop and all our travels were canceled. Undeterred, we stayed put and continued our adventure exploring the country we were in, Estonia. Between us, we have visited 51 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. Welcome, Welcome to, to Parnu. We've made it to the summer capital of Estonia where there's lovely beaches. And we've just parked up at the car and we're now walking through this beautiful park and we're going to head off to the tourist information centre so we can explore and figure out where we're going to go today. Yeah, <laughs> we've been told that Parnu is a great place and a lot of people come here during the summer. So here we are in the summer on a summery day and the sun shining and we're going to go explore it. Let's go and see what it's got to offer. <laughs> Lovely restaurant on Rootley Street here in Parnu. It's got loads of choice. They got iced coffee. I'm going for a latte. They got pizzas, salads, and soups. I'm having a soup. And then they've also got these mains. But we're just going for a lighter lunch. So I've gone for a tomato soup, sour cream, some cheese, and some croutons that go with that. Craig's gone for the specials. Yeah, I went for a special, which is a chicken wrap. It looks delicious. And some fries. Chivy sourdough. I'm actually excited for my coffee. It looks great. <laughs> so we've just had some lunch at Ephesus back there, and we're now walking along Rootley, which is the place to be here in Parnu, especially if you're looking for food and shops and just a great place to wander around and take in the Parnu vibes, which we've been recommended to do. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna go and check out one of the many churches, or lots of the churches, and then head over to the beach. Whoever's in charge of flowers in this country, good job. Everywhere we've been so far on this tour, just all over Estonia, just beautiful flowers everywhere. Not a bad voice either. Yeah, but she looks so happy and smiley. I was like, it's just a few cents. <laughs> Should we get 
Yeah, go and check out the festival. I just thought it was just it. <laughs> Okay, so we've just walked along Rutli, which is the main sort of old town street, and then I believe we've come up here, and we're just in this little area here near Malmo. So we turned off Rutli, and there's all these market stalls to wander around and explore and see what different things are being sold, and then we've come into this little square, and there's a little festival going on. So nice and friendly, people just hanging out, enjoying themselves. It's a great vibe and lovely place to be. It's part of the Panu vibes. Deliet. Okay, Deliet. Yeah. This is from Sweden. This is from Finland. Okay. Well, it's amazing to see you make yeah. this. And here's you are a finished from? product. Well, that was just lovely. We just came out of the Mary Magdalene Guild. It's so creative. There's so many different rooms in there of so many crafts, different crafts, and it's very impressive. And we just got talking to some of the ladies in there, which they were working on a Swedish and Finnish, what we would call like a loom, I guess. And they, I don't know the Estonian word for it, but it was really cool. And the lady was saying it takes like 40 odd hours to make one rug. We see these rugs everywhere all over Estonia, and now we fully appreciate how much time and effort and how well made they are. <laughs> so it's really so cool impressive. to see it there. She was going into detail on where you place all the different threads and the different pedals she had to use and yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail and patience involved. Yeah, it's yeah. a really busy little area, there's so much happening with the festival going on outside and apparently the festival goes on today and tomorrow, but we're going to head off now and see some more of the sights. The Endla Theatre and Society House once stood where Panu Hotel is today. It was here on February the 23rd, 1918, 12 hours earlier than in Tallinn, when Estonia first declared independence from the Russian Empire with this manifesto to all the peoples of Estonia. Here you can see a modern stone and glass rendition of the balcony where the declaration was signed and read out for the first time. One of the most important aims of the monument was to make the text of the manifest visible. The manifest of independence is written on the wall of the balcony in the old and modern language and in braille. This monument was unveiled in February 2008 for the 90th anniversary of the Republic of Estonia. Church of St Catherine which was built in 1768 by the order of Empress Catherine II. It's the most stylish and richest Baroque style church in the whole of Estonia.
We've just carried on walking a little bit further, literally five minutes to the west of the town area that we're in, and we find ourselves in beautiful Valley Park. We're here stood on the Parnu moat, and behind us we've got the amphitheatre, and we're gonna head over to see the statue of Olev Sinav. And just in front of us, in the moat, it's a beautiful river, and there's lots of boats moored up, there's a park, there's lots of benches, and there's people just sat around having picnics. It's just a beautiful place to hang out. And it is super sunny and beautiful today. Parnu's Bridge of Romance. <laughs> This restaurant is always so popular. We came by last night and it was queuing out on the road and again tonight. Must be good. We've had a lovely afternoon exploring Parnu town, wandering around the streets and seeing the beautiful park as well. And now we're just making our way down to the beachfront. Yep, we're gonna grab ourselves some dinner on the beach and take a stroll and probably watch the sun go down. We're just heading down a street called Sapalus and it's basically the uh, boulevard that heads down to the beach and apparently along this street tomorrow there's going to be a big festival. Um, it kind of feels like there's something going on now because everyone seems to be whizzing down the street towards the beach. Yeah, there's a festival going on today over at the Mary Magdalene Guild that we were at earlier. Quite excited, I reckon we're going to get to the beach and there's going to be a massive <laughs> festival. I'm kind of nervous about that. <laughs> Today's about to get wild. <laughs> We were just heading down to the beach and we may have got sidetracked a little bit. <laughs> just a quick stop off down the promenade heading down towards the beach at Villa Weset and I've got a mojito. And I'm calling off for the mimosa. Cheers. Cheers Pani. Soaking up those Pani vibes. <laughs> Cheers. That's fresh. Nothing like a refreshing mojito after a day of vlogging. <laughs> Not that we're finished yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night is kicking off in 
party. <laughs> the party is getting started and we're going to the beach. <laughs> cocktails I would say they were sundowners but here in the Baltics in summertime the sun takes ages to go down which is amazing <laughs> <laughs> so we've still got ages of sunlight and that's great because as you can see we've just headed over to we've made it to Panu Beach Yay. it is beautiful it's a really long sandy beach and this is what everyone comes to Panu to see and yeah. spend the day on it's definitely our favorite part of Parnu, but then to be fair, the beach is always our favorite part of everywhere we go to. <laughs> but we've had a great day here and we hope you've enjoyed seeing Parnu as much as we have. It's been a fantastic day exploring. Yeah, it really has. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Please, if you've enjoyed it, give the video a like. It really does mean so much to us when you do that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell so you can see when we next load an adventure. See you on the next one. We're going to go and get some dinner. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's a gift mark. <laughs> Not that I would know. I said that with quite a lot of conviction. I'm no artist, but that is uh, unique. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm not sure. <laughs> Who said romance is dead? It's just called a bridge. <laughs> it's called the bridge of romance. It's not, they just said it's a romantic bridge. Have some romance. <laughs> Thank you.